Hello, you guys. Today we're gonna be doing a review of the Blonde's disc heater, and I bought this on eBay, and I got it not too long ago. This video is mainly gonna be for my uncle Andre. I'm gonna send it to him probably via the link. Anyway, if you, you can probably see my shadow there. It's cold in here, so we're gonna turn it on. I have it set to the lowest heat setting right now. You saw the lights dimmed. And there's all the heat coming out of it. <laughs> it always smells a little when you first turn it on. If you look at the light, you might be able to see the heat waves. Ton of heat waves. Heat. Now I'm gonna turn up to high. And that's really making the heat. Oh, it's nice and hot. But it's still cold over here, of course. Because, you know how this works. The heat isn't pointing towards me. Now it'll be hot over here. Anyway, yeah, it was. It's about 40, maybe 50 degrees in here. It's really cold, but it's a breezeway. If you can tell, the carpet in here. We don't have carpet like this anywhere else in the house. <laughs> I was just grabbing an eraser. I had my eraser thing. That's why I shoot my slingshot. Yeah, other than that, I am very hot over here. the discs are working which is good I'm gonna move out the first of all it's more even again oh, let's hit fan now it's blowing not nearly as much heat out because it's cooling off the elements I noticed that with this particular kind of semiconductor elements. It takes quite a duration of time to uh, cool off. It's, it's going to stay hot for a while. Still getting heat coming out of it. Maybe unplug. 
boost the lights flicker. If you look, <laughs> heat fan off right in the middle, low to high, and turn it down to low. So when I turn it on, it doesn't go whoop, and fire right after high speed. And this is a manual auto switch. Right now, it would actually be on manual because the manual is showing. And if you want to pause and look at that chart right there, that's for if you notice that there are these numbers, the degrees, they make it so that you can use those thresholds of degrees to change the wattage of your heater. I think that the manual mode is much clearer than the automatic mode because you can turn it up and down as you please. And it's infinitely variable. I think it's done using DC power because I think that you can do that with DC. And yeah, basically that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.